Hi, I'm Andy Power. Match fishing is my life. It's all I think about and it's all I want to do. I've been lucky enough in my time to win quite a few big matches and qualify for lots of big money finals. In this series, I'm going to show you a few tactics that I think give me the edge and hopefully it'll help you catch more fish. Check it out on the link below. So I've just clipped up at 16 metres on my clip and I've put an ounce bomb on and if I cast out now I've just found that at 16 metres it's actually quite silty. I'll let that hit the bottom and I'm going to slowly ease it out and if you notice it sticks, it's not moved yet. Now it's moved, that's telling me it's quite soft but if I come back another metre and clip up it's actually quite hard, so I'm going to fish there instead at 15 metres. I'm going to come back about a metre, but I'll measure it in a minute. And I'll show you the difference there. I'm going to let that hit the bottom. I'm going to move it slowly out, and it's dead smooth, so that's hard bottom and not the silt. So I'd rather put a quantity of bait on that hard bottom and I think they're going to feed a bit more confidently over a big bed of bait on a hard bottom than they will in the silt. So, so let's get fishing. Right, I'm going to talk you through the bait I'm going to feed at the start. I've actually measured out a pint of casters into a tub with maybe 100ml of chopped worm, finely chopped. Um, I was here a few weeks ago and I fed probably two pints of bait at the start and left it alone. Obviously it's got a lot colder now so I'm going to probably go for about a pint it might overdo it but we'll have to see but you know by being positive on that line then I'm not really losing out because I can go further so I've measured that into a tub and that's what I'm going to feed I'm going to plug it with f1 ground bait with a big bait up feeder I'm going to feed that it's well it was 16 but it's now 15 obviously because I'm fishing on that harder bottom so that's what I'm going to do on that line the other feeder line at 30 meters I'm not actually going to put any bait out, I'm going to probably start fishing, but because I'm going to have a few chucks for carp and see if I can catch a few on the method feeder first, I'm probably just going to put three or four tiny little plug it feeders with virtually nothing in, a few maggots, maybe a few pinkies, just so there's something there when I drop in, but there's not too much bait that it overfeeds them. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to pre-bait any carp for any carp lines, I'm just going to chuck out, chuck short, we're going to move and work my way out and see, see if we can snare a few and find a few liners. Mm -hmm. 